I'm still new at this. Yeah, it's recording. So when you saw me come from the airport, I came straight to the house. Can't really show you the house, but uh, tomorrow we got a pretty eventful day. Gonna look at some houses, come go check it out. Uh, not check out the suite, but I might drive by there, show you guys the front of it. Um, maybe a little inside sneak peek before I actually get the real thing. Uh, but uh, I need to get some sleep. Running on like two and a half hours. I can't do this. All right, day two. Um, yesterday really didn't do nothing besides try to relax and just get adjusted to being out here and you know went around and saw some places, ate some food, but wasn't nothing special. So really, wasn't nothing to show you. Uh, but today we're gonna go take a trip to a few barber shops. I probably will not film uh, inside the shops just because uh, for privacy uh, reasons, but. Uh, probably just like just the outsides of them and just a little glimpses of uh, Fort Worth in the area. So, all right, I appreciate it and uh, continue watching. So, uh, big problem, uh, I had my mic plugged in to the wrong outlet, so if the audio sounds bad on some of the clips, that is why. But yesterday, I did not get a chance to uh, film a whole lot, got distracted and out shopping and doing a couple things and exploring the, t exploring the city uh, pretty much, you know, just so I can know my way around and um, meet some people and it was a great time. I just didn't want to film and record that aspect of it, but... Uh, we're off to church now. Finally, I'm finally gonna go see my suite. It's been so, so difficult being down here and just exploring and seeing new things and driving around. So it's kind of hard to like 
vlog and it's actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be to film certain stuff. Uh, but on that note, we're now going to finally take a trip to over to the suite. I got an appointment at 8.30, so we're going to go in. I'm going to video the inside and check it out. And then we're just, I'm going to sit back and visualize and hopefully we can bring this thing together. Uh, so I'll catch you guys there. Here we go, guys. We're coming up on it right now. Sorry for the glare, it's pretty sunny out here. There she is. Nice big building, brand new. I'm actually pretty excited. This is gonna be really good, really good. Fresh start, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to configure this camera a little bit, but I got my sunglasses on and everything's a glare. But I don't know, I'm really excited for this fresh start. Um, man, it sucks starting over, but at the end of the day, I feel like when you feel it in your heart and you feel it in your mind and you feel it in your body to kind of make a change I just say, man, take the risk. I mean, no risk, no reward. Um, I don't know. I feel like, you know, when you talk to a lot of business people, or you talk to a lot of successful people, I mean, they're always going to tell you, like, you need to get uncomfortable. I always say, like, get, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And putting myself in this position allows me to, to do that. Um, I mean, I'm coming from being a six-figure barber in a small town to go into Texas and being in a city with a lot of people. Um, so now I'm able to create my own culture through my suite. Not like, not saying like the barbershop is bad, but I know like what I want and it's, it was getting, it gets harder and harder to like want to create when, you know, you work, you work for somebody else, you know, technically speaking. And man, the shop that I worked at was amazing. It was great. It got me my start. It got me to a point where I'm able to now, you know, want to do something like this. Um, the people that I work with helped me grow uh, into the person that I am today. So um, much love to that. Shout out Diversify Cuts. Um, but, you know, now we're just waiting to go inside and we're going to go see what the suite looks like. I didn't want to like, you know, I don't know how people feel about being on the camera, yeah. so. So what are your first thoughts? Let's see. So are you just in town for a few days? Or? Yeah, a few days looking at houses today as nice. well, so. That's oh, exciting. this one has plumbing. I know, they wanted me to show the new person, but I'm like, you know what, I'll show it to you, why not? <laughs> see if we can. This thing off a spot, focus. Definitely need a shampoo bowl. Still have a front window. This one's a little bit bigger and.
so no one really heard the conversation uh at least i don't know i mean once i once i you know go back and check the footage i'll know what i said on there but anyways man what a blessing it was uh the previous room that i had i wasn't going to be able to have a shampoo bowl and they had a shampoo room but turns out they had a room open up and it actually had a shampoo bowl in it and it was a little bit bigger because i was worried about it was gonna be a little too small uh but man i mean everything just keep falling into place uh you know god's doing so many things for me this trip in the last few months and it's slowly like breaking some of my walls down um i'm very very thankful for that and i just have to you know keep walking in it uh, i feel like you know doing what i'm called to do is super important and i need to i need to really just step up to the plate but i mean i just get, keep getting more affirmations from different types of people especially in the industry here man it's just nothing but love uh no hate no uh jealousy and it, it's just showing me that i'm making the right decision and for anybody out there that you know feels like they need to do the same thing i highly encourage you to to just go out there and go after your dreams and make it happen i mean it's not it's not like don't 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 think about what other people are going to think because at the end of the day that doesn't matter do do it for you do it for him up up above and you'll be you'll see what he will do in your life like you'll see you know the work that you'll see what you can really achieve uh at the end of the day uh just always you know when you have that thing in the back of your head always telling you hey you need to do this or you need to step out of your comfort zone or you need to you need to go try something new just do it you know don't even question it just say just say yeah and just you know who cares if you fail who cares what what people think who cares if you know you're gonna suffer later um you're gonna people that suffer the most like i've suffered in the beginning of my career and look where i'm at now i'm over here about to move to texas and it's crazy um you know i went from working at mcdonald's to factories to you know working in a barbershop 30 minutes away from my house to go cut one person a day like you have to go through the struggle and there's always there's always something better on the other side but it will not reveal itself until you have obeyed everything that he's asked you to do um so i'm realizing that now and this is the first time talking on camera it's kind of maybe confusing to some some will understand some will put the pieces together but uh i'm just trying to trying to speak from a place that i'm you know i haven't really spoke about um not many people know about my mind shift stuff especially on my youtube channel which this video will be on my instagram will be on as well but um yeah it's just i don't know it's just different man it's it's i just feel like i've been called to be here for a reason and i just need to just figure why figure out that why um obviously i'm not gonna figure it out he's gonna figure it out but you know we'll go from there but now i'm off to go look at some rentals um i haven't really been showing that because i really don't want you guys to see like my house i mean uh it's just it is what it is now maybe like eventually when you know i get down here i get settled then i buy a house but i'm only renting so it's really not that important so um i may catch you guys later today uh, i am going to go get my hair cut at a barber shop uh chatted up with the with the guy um with the owner of the shop really good dude and christian dude so um i don't know i'll just catch you guys later and i hope my message was somewhat appealing <laughs> to those but oh well and i'm new at this so i'm trying so i'll catch you guys a little bit later what's going on guys i'm back uh just real quick i'm about to get my hair cut check out chat it up with the owner of the shop shop's kind of um 
I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable, so I'm not going to record it, but you can kind of peep the haircut now, you know what I mean? I'm looking a little rough, but um, yeah, we're going to go check it out and see and see how, how this comes out. So I'll catch you guys a little later. So peep the cut, a little low fade, clean up the beard a little bit, looking good. Appreciate it. Shout out to David the Fade God. Um, appreciate you for chatting it up, man. I can't wait to be down here and uh, you know connecting with a lot of these bars, man. What I realized out here in Texas is like it's not a competition with each other. Like no one's afraid to give ideas and want to help one another in this industry down here. I mean, for as far as the people that I've met so far, uh, but it's it's just crazy, like. You know, you got other barbers, you know, fighting, fighting over clients and getting all upset and stuff, you know, back home in, in Hanover, Pennsylvania. So, you know, to be here is crazy. Like the, the hospitality is, is wild. So, yeah, man, it, it was a good, good thing for me to be there. I'm glad I was able to connect with him and link with them. But, yeah, we're going to be working on some stuff probably in the future, um, you know, so it, it's going to be good. But, uh, you know, I'm going inside, I'm going to relax for the rest of the night, and I got one more day before I'm back on a flight back to PA. So, um, I'm going to go chill, hang out, and try to relax a little bit. So, I'll catch you guys maybe tomorrow. Welcome back, guys. Uh, so, yeah, it's another day. It's about 11.57. Um, this is like my second take because I wasn't recording the first time. But I don't know what I'm gonna do today. This is my last day here. I need to get some coffee. I uh, got up early and just doing a bunch of stuff, trying to find a house down here to rent. So I've been sending paperwork and emailing and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. But uh, I don't know what I'm gonna get into. Haven't really been showing you guys the details, but it's just me learning how to vlog properly. It's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. But it's a learning curve and I'm willing to learn it so i uh, might catch you guys a little later Pennsylvania off my trip 
came back yesterday, but I was not able to film, record, do any of that. I figured I'd end the video uh, on a new day. I'm about to head to the shop, go clean up my station a little bit. I'm not going in until Monday, so uh, just, to, just in case State Board try to come through. My station is clean, but you know, you can always make it even cleaner, you know, so can never be too prepared. But overall, man, trip went very well. Met some great people, connected with some great people, especially in the industry. Um, so we're definitely gonna, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog before I leave. I still got about three to four weeks, but I definitely wanna do a video just about, you know, the trip and what's going on. I'll probably get more in detail later on um, into my other videos. This one's just kind of like a starter video just to kind of get it out there. Just test it and see how I can vlog and see how everything works um, and see how easy and how hard it was to do so uh, it'll be good I appreciate you guys for watching me please like subscribe check out my tutorial videos as well um, and I'll catch you on the next one